would you like to have more engagement with your audience? Of course you would. I'm getting ready for a large Lunch and Learn webinar that I'm running, and I want to understand how many people in my audience have Microsoft Copilot already. So I'm going to put in a Microsoft form to get feedback on my audience to find out who it is I'm talking to when I'm in the middle of that webinar. So I have a blank slide gone in here. That's where I want the Microsoft form to go in. I'm going to click on the Insert tab, and then I have Microsoft Forms. So when I click on Forms, it's going to open up a sidebar for me. And if you've created any forms before, they will be shown here. So I'm going to click on New Form, and it's going to open up my browser for me, my default default browser, and it's going to preload the Microsoft Forms there for me. So here is the preloaded form. So it's untitled, so I can pop in my title here. I'm going to call that uh, Copilot. And the description, do you have Microsoft Copilot? So here then we have the options for the first question that we're going to add. So we've got choice, we've got text, we've got a rating, we've got date, a few more options here. We've got ranking, like, we've got a file that we can upload and we've got the net promoter score and we can put sections in here as well. I'm gonna go with something really simple. I'm gonna pop a choice in. So then it comes up with the question. So what is the question? So it's do you have, Microsoft, do you have Microsoft Copilot? And it's using AI to guess what the answers may be. So it was trying to guess there, did I want to put yes, no, or maybe? So I'm gonna choose yes to start with. Then I'm gonna choose no. I'm gonna add another option. And the other option is going to be don't know. Don't know, and actually we'll pop another one in there. So add another option and let's put getting it soon. Okay, so I've got my four options here. <clears throat> At the side there, we can, we can change the order of these by dragging on the little uh, icons at the side there. We can delete any of the answers if we decide we don't want to have those included in our poll anymore. And if we want to add another question, we can then click on this one. I'm going to go for choice again, and we can add subsequent questions this way. I want to find out what version of Microsoft Office slash uh, 365 you have. And I'm going to pop in a few options here. So we're going to go for 365. We'll go for 2019, and we'll go for... 2016, and we'll, we'll see what answers we get there. So that are, those are my questions. You'll see various pre-selected or pre-entered questions here. So you can pop here, please rate your overall experience with us, and it'll put that question in for us, okay? And we can add the selected question, and it's going to pop that in. So there's various presets there, or you can add your own. So I'm going to delete that one, and we'll go with the two questions that we've got. We can click on the preview button and it's going to show us what's that, what that looks like. So we've got Copilot. Do you have Microsoft Copilot? And then a bit more information here as well. It will show you what it looks like on a computer and it'll also show you what it looks like on a mobile because there's a good chance people can be, could be answering from their phone. So we click back and we're back into our questions here. We've got style where we can change how the form looks. There's various video backgrounds we've got here. There are uh, colors. So we could choose a color that might match our branding, or we can even put a color in with our branding. If we click on the plus icon, we can put uh, an image up there, or we can actually put um, a hex value in there and you can get it to match your branding. I'm gonna click, I'll click with this background instead of the blue. I think that looks quite nice. What I want to draw your attention to is the three little dots in the top right-hand corner. And under there, we have got settings. And these are really important. So who can fill in this form? We've got only people within my organization. 
And there's only two of us in my organization, so that's going to be a bit tricky. I need to have it open to anyone. Anyone can respond. We've then got options for responses, accept responses. We've got start date and end date, set time duration, so people can answer within a certain time. Shuffle questions, we can have questions in any order. Disable question number for respondents. Show progress bar, so we know how, so people know how far they are through the questionnaire. We've got hide, submit another response. Customize a thank you message. We can put a thank you message in there when somebody has responded. We've also got allow receipts and we have email notification of each respondent. So there's a few different things that we've got there. So we can leave the window open and navigate back to PowerPoint or we can close this window down one or the other. But I'm gonna go straight back to PowerPoint and we've two different options now on my PowerPoint slide. I've got present for interactive meetings or I've got collect responses offline. So for this example, I'm gonna present for interactive meetings and here now you can see that's pre-filling that information on my slide. So I'm gonna to go to the previous slide, start the presentation, and go straight to the next slide as if I were presenting. And this is what my audience are going to see. So we have got here the question, do you have Microsoft Copilot? Up in the top right-hand corner, I can see I've zero response submitted, okay? So I can now say to my audience that here's the QR code. So if you then snap that QR code with your mobile phone, which I am doing now so that we can see the live responses coming in, they can answer that way from their phones. We can also copy the link if we are online in an online meeting, and perhaps we can then put that feedback into that link into the chat so that people can also answer from their browsers as well. So we give them a couple of different options, okay? So there we go, we have my first answer in, excellent. Uh, so that's answer number one come in, that's great. And you can judge then how many people you've got in your audience and then when to move on from this slide or when, when we feel that people have submitted enough responses or we've got enough information from people. So we've got two responses submitted now. So a couple of different options when we have this playing, we can, remove or hide the QR code and the instructions. And we can click down on the bottom to bring that back. And we can go from question one to question two or however many questions we have in the presentation. And we can also display them differently. So we could display those as a bar or the tree map. So it depends on the data or the question we're, we're asking. So I've got two responses submitted now. I've got one user on 365 and one on 2019. and one person has Copilot and one person doesn't. So to go to the next slide, I like to use the semi-transparent icons in the bottom because when we're clicking on the screen to go through different things like hiding that and, and going to the tree bar, we're not active on our slide. So we do need to use the navigation tools here to go to the next slide, okay? I'm gonna come out of the presentation and go back to that window and my results are sitting in here, okay? So if I wanted to see those outside of PowerPoint, I'm gonna go back to my browser window here. If you were to log on, I'm gonna open a new window. If we log on to uh, Office, so it's office.com and we put our credentials in, that's where we're gonna find that form. So this is our online version of Office. And if we go to the apps down the left-hand side, click on that, and scroll down here, somewhere there, we're going to see forms. Here are my forms. So I click on that, and this is where my forms are being stored. So then I can see all of the forms that I have created and get any information that I might want to from there. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do subscribe to my channel. And if you're watching on LinkedIn, please do connect with me. Thank you very much. Bye.